Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So when I'm going to upload this video it will be new year but now it's Christmas so we still have a Christmas sweater and Christmas vibes. <laughs> uh, I didn't um, decorate this room a lot but uh, I do have some like Christmas lights. But yeah welcome back and today we're going to talk about my language learning goals for the new year and uh, recently I have started a language learning journal you have seen it in my journal video and I wrote down all the goals that I want to work on so uh, this is just an introduction but we will go into the journal and I will uh, show you all the goals that I have written down but first some general things my focus language will be Japanese throughout the whole year. Uh, I want to improve a lot in Japanese. I want to advance from um, the JOPT N4 level that I think I have. I still have to test that uh, towards the JOPT N3 level. So my goal, one of my goals is to uh, take the JOPT N4 exam and learn for it. But I do think I could pass it. So then I would know for sure that I am at this level. And then I also want to progress towards the JOPT N3 uh, by learning the, all the grammar and the kanjis and vocabulary, of course. And before I will go through all the grammar of JOPT N4 and N5, because I do know all the kanjis and vocabulary, but grammar is, is just, it's just a nightmare. I'm very bad at grammar. I didn't spend a lot of time with it. And so I'm going to use the Bumpo app to just go to all the topics of the grammar for JOPT N4 and N5. But I think N5, uh, it's not that difficult and most of it I did learn, but N4, it, it's, still, uh, <laughs> it's still difficult. So that that's, will be my focus, but I will also mention some other languages and uh, um, another big goal in Japanese, which is reading. So I will show you how I'm going to work on that too. So let's dive into my journal. So this is the journal that I'm using for language learning. And I just started to do recently, like I said, um, before this, I tried to have a language learning journal, but I'm not really good at making plans and sticking to them. Uh, especially if I have to like track things daily or weekly. Uh, so this is a journal that I try to update weekly but I only use my daily journal to track everything that I'm doing for language learning, which is this. So I wrote down all goals and actions that I want to do and I will reflect in this journal. But this is the journal, my like my Hobonichi weeks, which I will actually daily like write down in this daily pages what I'm doing and uh, which languages I have worked on. And then I will... Uh, migrate every information from here into here weekly or at least every two weeks. I wrote down all the goals that I have in here also in this journal so I can access them very easy and also I'm keeping track of all the apps that I'm using and the ones that I'm paying for like how much I pay uh, for those apps and uh, weekly I will track how often I have used the app to see if yeah if I uh, <laughs> pay not for nothing. But uh, in this journal, I will just reflect like uh, weekly or monthly. And also I will do my mid-year uh, reflection in here. So uh, this is like the actual language uh, journal. I've already showed it in my journal video uh, how it looks. So we will just um, continue further. Let me see. Yeah. So uh, this, I, I started this journal in October and um, because that's when the Polyglot conference started and I used this journal to note uh, everything from the Polyglot conference or at least make some notes in, in this journal. So here I wrote down that the Polyglot conference started and that I started also using uh, Remembering the Kanji from Hasek and I also used Kanji Garden and made some notes and then again Kanji Garden but yeah and here was the end of the Polyglot conference and then I didn't note anything that what I was doing. Here I just wrote down some uh, general goals that I want to accomplish but these are not the specific goals for 2023 and here I have the planning for all the other months and now we're in, in December so I'm filling this one out and I try to use it more I will show you every month I think this journal and uh, show you which apps I used or what I did that month so I will try to update this often let's move on to the goals 
So here I wrote down all the goals that I have for Japanese and also the actions that I'm going to take to assure those goals. First, I want to finish a half of the Remembering the Kanji book, so which is uh, this book. And yeah, there are, let me see how many lessons are in here, quite a lot, 56 lessons. Let us say somewhere around at least, I want to at least go towards 30 lessons. So until lesson 30, which will be until here. So it's it's quite a lot to go through, a lot of kanjis. But yeah, I'm uh, currently I'm on lesson four, so I still have a long way to go. But that that will be my goal, uh, one of the goals, and I think it should be manageable in one year to finish 30 lessons. And the way I'm going through the lessons, I will also show you that, so you know <laughs> what I'm doing. It's in this notebook. Uh, on the back side, I'm using it for the kanjis and uh, this is how I'm using it. So first I started out with just writing the kanjis out and I wanted to add on the readings but this book doesn't work with readings so you're just learning how to write it and the radicals and the, and the basic words uh, word that goes along with the kanji so I stopped using those readings or looking out for the readings and just started writing down the kanji and then I could uh, move faster through the book and I think that's how the book is also intended to use. Uh, so as you can see, this is all that I did so far in October and November. In December, I it, it it's still very busy with other things for school, so I didn't do much for <laughs> for December. But uh, the last time that I worked on it was in November, so I need to continue. But this is until lesson four. So I just write it out. I uh, note which word that goes along with the kanji, then I write down which radicals the kanji exists of and then I just practice the kanji a couple of times. So that's what I'm going to do throughout the year. Then I want to reach level 15 on Wani Kani. So right now I'm on level 7, <laughs> I'm on level 7 and it took me a very very long time to go towards this level and I'm I'm just I think I'm have been on level seven for a year now which is crazy but it's it's just one ikani you cannot progress in it if you're not doing your reviews and uh, sometimes I just I don't want to do those reviews so I think I'm like 300 reviews behind right now so it's something that I want to work on in the new year and I want to progress towards level 15. And then I'm also using the app Kanji Garden. So my next goal is to unlock thousand kanjis in Kanji Garden. And Kanji gar Garden works this way that you kind of unlock the kanjis. Uh, so that doesn't mean that you have learned them, but you have unlocked them in your <laughs> garden and you start to learn in them. So right now I have, I think, learned 50 kanjis in that app and I unlocked more than 100 or maybe even 200 kanjis. So I want to unlock 1000 kanjis and uh, progress in learning through that app because I do enjoy it, but I do think it's uh, a little bit less effective than Wani Kani. So Wani Kani will be my focus for kanji. Uh, together with the remembering the kanji. Then I want to study all the grammar from JOPT and 4 and, and 5. I will do that also with an app and I will go through the JOPT Nihongo Somotome books. And I want to read three Japanese books. So for now I have this book in mind which is Read Real Japanese. Uh, it's not like entirely in Japanese, you do have English translations in it and some like explanations and grammar points. But the first time that I, when I bought this book, I just couldn't get through it because I was still like a beginner and it, it was just too difficult. So I hope that this time when I'm more advanced, I will go through it and it <laughs> that this time it will work out. So this is the first book that I will start out. Then I have another book, which is this one, which is um, like entirely in Japanese. And it's non-fiction about the English and the Japanese language and how English attacks the Japanese language, how it manipulates it and how Japanese language kind of dies out because of the English. So I think it's an interesting view and I want to read it. It's a, yeah, a non-fiction book, <laughs> but it is quite difficult. As you can see, there's a lot of text in it and there's no translation and the kanjis do not have any furigana. So this is like... A very advanced step for me and I think I'm going to start reading it 
towards the end of the year because first I want to start out with all the books and learn more kanjis first and more words and more grammar points before I will start out with this one and I hope it I will succeed but it's it's like the most complex goal that I have to go through this book and the third book I'm still looking for the third book to read so um, I will update you on that when I have the third book and uh, my next goal is uh, to get a one year streak in Duolingo for Japanese. I do enjoy Duolingo. I know it's not a great app. I know it's not the best one. Uh, it is a popular one. Uh, but I do like Duolingo because it's very motivating. So uh, the, the layout of the app, it's, uh, it's pretty and uh, you have like a lot of this motivational quotes or reminders so it, it works great i do not use it to learn new things because i do not think it teaches you new things in a good way however i think it's a great app to review the things that you have already learned so that's what i'm using it for and i do like to see what i will achieve with this app in one year so that's one of the goals then I wrote down the actions that I'm going to do, like how I'm going to work on these goals. And one of the, the actions is like uh, working two times a week on remembering the kanji. It's something that I will also track in my uh, Hobonichi. As you can see, I have, have this habit tracker uh, in my um, yeah, weekly page. And I'm tracking all kinds of things. Uh, but one of the things is Japanese language and I'm tracking how many times I have used the Heisig book, how many times I have reviewed my Bwani Kani uh, reviews, uh, Kanji Garden, Satoru Reader, Duolingo, it's all in there and I can track it uh, every day and then I will move this information to into this uh, journal and then I see how uh, many times I'm using the apps and uh, if I'm progressing with them. So that's one of the things that I want to do two times high sick, remember the kanji, three times a week I want to do Bani Kani sessions and uh, because uh, it will be hard to achieve I think level 15 if I'm like four year on level seven so it's something that I really have to work on weekly. I want to do daily kanji garden reviews and I have to admit that I haven't been doing them for two weeks now so it's I really have to pick them up and I want to unlock weekly kanjis in kanji garden as well so not only reviewing but also learning new kanjis and once a week I want to do my Bunpo study so it's uh, the grammar app that I'm using to learn TOPT and 4 and 5 grammar and I want to finish it uh, until uh, yeah, in, in one year daily Duolingo lessons to maintain the Duolingo streak and then once a week I want to read a physical Japanese book and I think I'm going to try to read one page a day so I, I hope that will be realistic and three times a week I want to use Satori Reader uh, to read because it's a little bit easier to use because I can look up the words much faster. However, uh, I think reading an actual book is also very important. And in the Hobonichi you have this like Japanese text as you can see here. And I want to translate them weekly and read through them. So it's also reading practice that I'm going to do. And the last uh, action that I'm going to do is try to take the GOPT and 4 exam. I'm living in the Netherlands and the exam is only available in Leiden. And I still have to find out if there will be an exam in 2023 because in the last two years I think... Uh, there were no exams because of Corona, but yeah, maybe in 2023 there will be a, an opportunity to do this. Then I have a couple of goals for Korean, not a lot because like I said, Japanese will be my focus, but for Korean, I also want to use Duolingo to uh, learn the Hangul, the Korean alphabet. And I think Duolingo uh, is good for reviewing. So I have written out Hangul multiple times. I have watched YouTube videos, how to write them, how to pronounce them. However, I think um, Duolingo will help me to remember them better. And then I also want to reach unit 15 in Duolingo. I want to be able to read and have some basic vocabulary. So somewhere around 500 words. I hope I will succeed in it and I will have the time for Korean. Then in Spanish, I want to read a book uh, called Cementario de Animales, Animales by Stephen King, which is Pet Cemetery. I, it's it's my favorite book uh, from Stephen King and I hope that I can read it in Spanish. 
but it will be quite a challenge because yeah I still I, I can read some basic like sentences in Spanish and I can understand most of the things that I'm hearing like 70% I think somewhere around that in, in a simple conversation but reading this kinds of book it will be a challenge however we shall see uh, I hope I will succeed at it and I want to finish a half of the book of complete Spanish all in one which is uh, a grammar book and then I have some general goals I want to reflect monthly on my Japanese learning process so on Korean and Spanish I will only work when I have the time and uh, it's not it, there these are not my focus languages so my um, focus will be on Japanese and my ref reflecting will also be on Japanese. And in June, I'm going to do a mid-year reflection and then I'm going to reflect on all of the goals. And I will uh, make a, like a new plan towards the rest of the year and towards the end of the year. And then I have also written down one goal for English, which is improve my writing skills by blogging, writing essays and learn new literary work, vocabulary. Yeah, so for English, I just want to write more um, and uh, also read more, of course. So for now, this will be everything <laughs> that I have. And I left here some blank space because maybe I will add some things or reflect on the actions that maybe uh, I have to change some things up but for now this is everything and I will keep you updated with uh, all of my goals and how I'm working on them and I will just uh, try to make more language learning videos so stay tuned for that and like I said earlier I want also to read more about uh, Japanese culture and Japanese history. So I will be also um, going through this book, which is Japanese mythology. Um, this is an Oxford handbook of Japanese mythology. And I think it will be a lot of fun to read everything in here. And the next book is about history. And it's uh, this one, which is Making of Modern Japan by Marius Janssen. Um, it's in English and uh, it's, it's quite big, but it's about uh, the Japanese history. So yeah, I will also try to read through these books. I think it will be uh, slowly because it's non-fiction and I'm not really fast in reading non-fiction, but towards the end, I think it will be possible to finish them. When I finish them, I will also make a review of these books. Uh, but for now, uh, I still have to find out how they are. And um, let me show you again, in my Hobonichi weeks, I have written down all of the goals that are in the language learning journal uh, so I can see them daily and uh, work on them. Because if I don't pick up this journal often, I still uh, have a reminder of everything that I have to do in here. So those were all of my goals. And I hope you will follow me uh, further in this language learning journey and I will try to uh, reflect on my goals at least once in two months and of course the mid-year reflection will be coming up in June uh, but I will try to make more language learning videos and also review more content for you on the language learning apps and books that I'm using especially for Japanese but also for Spanish and some recommend other recommendations and if you want to read more about what I'm doing what I'm learning what I'm reviewing you can always go to my website which is Maria themillennial.com and uh, there I will post a wiki blog on Monday about language learning and sometimes also about uh, reading and books uh, because I think those two go uh, alone together. <laughs> I do use a lot of reading to learn languages and I do learn languages to read more. So it, it's like something that goes together for me at least and I hope uh, if you're following me that uh, you also like reading and language learning. And if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you liked it, also give it a like, of course. Uh, I will appreciate it a lot. And uh, let me know in the comments what your language learning goals are and uh, which languages you are focusing on. And I hope you will succeed in your goals as well. Uh, and maybe we can talk more in the comments about uh, different languages. But for now, this is it. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.